All right, shower is completed. That's not okay. Oh, I just saw the net again. That's not okay, in my opinion. Oh! <laughs> I have ordered takeout, because I have. I'm using a literal butternut right now. <sighs> Trying my first bite of food. It dribbled on me a little bit. One day I will be a plus size influencer who has died. That is crazy. This video is so raw, you guys. Fuck. Hey there, YouTube. It's me, Hens. I'm back with Amberlynn, and it's her weekly uh, drinking stream. So let's get into this little fun mess. She already spilled a little bit of tea, as I showed in my short. Um, so now it's up to Alexis to come back at that allegation, because that's a pretty serious one, uh, a serious and concerning one. And uh, let's see what else she does. Play, play Amber. Oh, that's not it. I'm dumb. You're really not working? Oh, uh, we're live now. You could hear her, but you could not see her. Um. Huh. Let's. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Okay. Hi. Is everyone here? There we go. Okay. So I said I was going to go live once a week with a good old buzz balls by my side. So. Her bestie buzz balls. It's not going to be as hectic as last time because that was crazy. I should have never had five. Duh. That was a lot. So. Duh. Um, hi. Hi. So we already have talks about, oh my God, wait. Okay. I already know a lot is going to be said in this live stream. Really? Sorry, I got a message to go. A lot. Hi, Lucy. Um. Oh, that's what I wanted to address. Oh, <clears throat> a couple of things. First, thank you to everybody for uh, supporting my channel and always liking and watching my stuff. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, two. I might be irritable because I've been having a bit of a fiasco. I lost the back to my earring, and so I had to f buy new earrings. First, I lost the earring, then I lost the backing, then I lost, or then I found the earring, but I need to get, or I already ordered new earrings, and now, ugh, yeah, stuff is going on. And then, uh, so I might be irritable with Amber, but then, um, third, Alexis. So Alexis is texting Amber throughout this live stream and then, but they claimed to have blocked each other. So how are you guys messaging each other? Like if you've actually blocked each other and you've moved on trying to not really deal with them as a person, like in a relationship form like why are you messaging with each other i don't understand that that really is weird kayla said can you shout out my husband joe hello joe how are you hello joe um mojo jojo <laughs> okay so i'm not stoned her I'm eyes not, did look red at the beginning is it gonna be hectic yeah probably oh my god all my mods are here right now and i feel like we're just like this beautiful like happy family so all my mods, all three of them. So thank you for being a mod if you're a mod. Greatly appreciate it. Um, <laughs> em said, how are you? I'm good. Mark said, hi, you're drinking. I am drinking. Can you say happy birthday, Brandon? Happy birthday, Brandon. <laughs> I hope you have a great one, truly. Love you, Amberlynn. Tell your truth. We're here for oh, you. Oh, I have her sped up to 1.25 speed. Oh, this is 1.5 speed. Let me slow her down. The 1.25. Actually, this is kind of fun. This is actually kind of fun. So I am. Ooh, like Berlin. You're adorable. Thank you. Berlin is hella um, fun. So I can't fully tell my truth about anything. Berlin is such a fun city. It's like Portland. Because I feel like in one corner, I'm being threatened to like be sued. And then in the other corner, I'm just being threatened in general. I don't like, why does everyone get to like say what they want and then also lie? And then I'm over here just like being threatened. And I'm like, what is even happening? <sighs> is this being silenced? 
Is this what that no, means? No, you um, literally, you literally have the largest platform out of anybody that you've ever dealt with. Like you still have the largest platform. Even Zachary Michael doesn't have as large of a platform as you do. So don't complain. Thank you, Maddie. You like my hair type deal? It's okay. It's like hectic. It's just, <laughs> oh my. Um, stop drinking. I only drink once a week. It's part of my job now. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's gross. That is sick. Oh, it's part of my job to drink. That's literally one of the excuses that bartenders that are becoming alcoholics say. Like, for real. You know, um, are you silent or silenced? I'm literally being threatened. No. Doesn't that mean? I don't think she gets the reference. Like you're being silenced a little bit? Mm. She doesn't get the um, reference. Your outfit looks cute. Thank you. You can't be sued for saying things allegedly. Yeah. So I've been told. Um, can you please say happy birthday to John? Happy birthday, John. I hope you have an amazing one. Twinkie Star is right there. Just, you know, living her best life as per usual. Her best life, sleeping, trying to forget the smell. Please say hi to Noah and my boyfriend love and support you. Hello, Noah and your Hello, boyfriend. Noah. Your, who's your boyfriend? Oh, I've been thinking. Should I do like membership type deals on here? Because if I plan on going live oh, God, once a no. week, should we do like memberships or no? You bitch. It's <laughs> no, I know, I know. I swear to God, if she does, she will not get half the views. We're gonna say no. But I know that if I do them, people will do them because you guys are just sweet like that. Not like you think. People will not all sub like that. That's so fucked up. Um, okay. And plus, I'll just watch you through another channel. Twinkie cam? Yes. Twinkie! Baby girl. It's such a sweetie. Oh, she likes her tummy rubbed. Yeah. Mm, she looked she annoyed. She um, looked really annoyed. Why don't you drink another buzz bomb? They're buzz balls, by the way. And I'm on my first one. I'm only gonna have like two, maybe three. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe four. Can you say hello to Sandy and Nina? Hello, Sandy and Nina. Hope you're okay. I am. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Can you say hello to the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria? I just want to see what someone deleted because... Okay. My friend knows what to delete. Thank you. Thank you. Because that was mean. <laughs> okay. Um. Name my new kitten. Oh, gosh. Um. Lego. <laughs> no, <laughs> I already told myself that if I get another pet... Huh? Another oh, pet? Yeah. <laughs> cherry Why would you get another pet? Also, another reaction channel, I think it was... Um, I want to say it was Karina or maybe Orange Queen. They said that Amber was sitting on the last live stream drinking and eating in front of Tommy. And that really struck a chord with me. And I was like, Oh, that is so freaking true. And then she kept showing off the stuff that she was eating and describing it in more detail than she does even when she had her mukbangs and uh, when she's done her food taste tests. So honestly, that was a really good point. And we need to watch out for if she starts eating on camera again because she's going to be looking at Tommy when she does it. Thank you. Christina, you're a skinny legend. Just saying. Okay. Christina. Um, so I know you guys love the shout outs, but <laughs> guys, <laughs> Jordy. We, we need to talk. Like, um, Jordy needs to talk. For real, for real. Lego is such a good name. I know. Explain the title. I'm just, it's just a lot is coming at me from like Alexis's end and then Brittany's end. And then I'm getting DMs. I'm getting messages. I'm getting comments. I'm getting this and that of people just like believing all of this stuff. So it's like, I want to give you guys the opportunity to literally ask me about it because I'm not here to like, sugarcoat anything and i just want to let you guys know that literally people be lying people be lying and i just don't understand and it's just like what is even the point of it um we drink cranberry buzz balls with red bull and call them red balls stop wait that's actually a really good idea yeah. but i don't drink energy drinks that's that's the thing that's literally a four loco basically <laughs> like honestly that's an old school four loco that you're describing so i'm not like an energy drink girly pop so <laughs> no, I'm not engaged, y'all. <laughs> Stop. I'm literally not. I don't understand why people... No, it's probably something to do with, like, a promise ring or something. Like, I promise if I get to the size of a seal, we'll get married. I promise. People would think that. Like, legit. I don't. 
Um, hello, Leah. Hello to Tuki Booty and Ashi Nana. Those are great names. Um, my friend Ryan and I watch you. Oh my gosh, hi. Hello. Thank you for watching. Um, yes, welcome back. Hello, Kitty. Can you please tell Johnny my BPD is why he divorced me? It would be great for you to elaborate having it. Um, I don't know if I could say that because I don't understand the situation type deal at hand. So I don't know. Yeah, her BPD is only an excuse for her. Spill all the tea. Uh, they both lie. They literally both lie. And it sucks because like Britney's lies, it's hard for me to prove because they deleted the whole thread of like mine and Erica's like conversations. And then with Alexis, I do have like proof of some things, but she was like, if you talk about me or say anything, I'm gonna blah, 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 blah. Like she threatens me. So it's like, what do I do? What do I do? Alexis blocked me for commenting how crazy she is. I mean, I don't know. I'm not surprised that Alexis doesn't bring receipts. She, she brings like wannabe receipts and then twists the narrative into something that like she wants to create for y'all. So that's literally what happens with that. What um, happened? That's what happens. Are you saying texts are faked? No, I'm not saying that. Am I jealous of Beck's new girlfriend? No. And that's one of the things that Alexis- Oh, I saw Beck got engaged in her ring or their ring with uh, their partner's ring. They were both gorgeous, like gorgeous rings. Saying that I was like saying bad things about? Literally no. And I have a screenshot of when Alexis was like, have you seen Becky's new girlfriend? And I said, no, show me. She literally sent me a picture and I sent her a green heart back because I like the green hair. So it's just like, I don't know. And then like her lying that like, I didn't know Abby, like her saying that I knew Abby's 20, a lie. Cause I have text message proof of the conversation me and Abby had when she finally admitted her real age. Again, another lie. And then here's another lie. I should have wrote this shit down because my brain does not work. But another one that just popped in my head. One minute she says, cookie crumble was unsolicited. Next minute she says, oh, we were actually like already on FaceTime and like, she was like screen sharing and like she wanted to send it to me so she could like see my reaction. So like I told her it was fine. <laughs> what? So one minute it's unsolicited, next minute it's not. I don't understand. Like I'm I'm definitely not truly understanding. To be fair, that is true. If you were on FaceTime, you could have literally told her in the moment, do not send me that video. Do not send that to me. And then you didn't have to watch it either. That's the other thing. So half of point two. Amber door. Um, it just makes no sense to me. Um, hello to the boyfriend, Anthony. That's actually my brother's name. Love that. Hey, Amberlynn, I'm on your side, even if you are. Oh, I'm not, but I love you too. Alexis is a hater. That's cool. You can call And the only reason I put Amber in Gryffindor is because I'm a Slytherin and I would never have her in our house. I went on people's super chats. I live for that. Um, does drinking make anyone else's face like hot? Really? You too? I've been watching you forever and you look great. Thank you so much. It's super sweet. Can you con congratulate my boyfriend Tyler on his raise? Congratulations, Tyler. We love a raise over here. Um, you've never had you've never had a single raise. Ever. Ever. A bottle of liquor. It's ever. Really this and you see my lipstick on it? That's cute. It's cute. Stop pretending to be me, girl. I don't drink. Okay. That's hectic. Um, it's hectic to not wait? drink. I, I don't drink. Um... Wait, I what I was gonna say. So I, oh my God, when she was, I was like listening to part of this stream uh, early in the morning and it was pitch black outside. So I kept hearing knocking and I was like, who is knocking? What the fuck is happening? It's Amber. She keeps fucking knocking something like a table in front of her or something. Ugh. Hey, that was weird. That was weird. It was like. Literally Would you freaking watch me out. Grow. No, you. wait, block. Hold on. Yeah. Are you... I always forget how to block people. Nyeh. I think it's the hide user. Again, mods. If you see any racism type deal, you know what to do. Um. At least she has that decency. Better than Chantal. Yes, Dee Dee. We are drinking. I'm gonna drink like two Buzz Balls or three. I don't know. Alexis wanted you. That's why she's mad. I can't. Like my favorite part of this whole thing is like, I have several favorite parts. This is just one. Um, when she showed like the whole thing of me, like saying how she, like, I have a crush on her. Okay. But like, I'm the one who always like, was like, I don't think we should be in a relationship. Well, she was always like, well, why not? Like, why can't we try it? And I was always like, my thing was like, I knew me and her would not work. We're very like similar, like in a relationship. And I knew I you guys are similar people overall. You would of course not been good in a relationship. You would have kept triggering each other over and over and over and over again. Like literally. 
it's obvious. Like, That's I why you don't make sense as friends either. We would swap heads and it just would not work that way. But like she always wanted to try it. And it's like when I broke up with Erica, that was like the first thing that she was like, well, now I mean you can try. And I'm just like, what is happening right now? It's like, yes, I will say it. I had a crush on Alexis off and on throughout our whole friendship, but so did she. And like her to like downplay that is like weird to me. No, I think she actually did acknowledge it. I think that some people want to gloss over the fact that she was interested in you and that it, she did say, Alexis said when Amber was in a relationship, she still would message her flirting as long as Alexis was not in a relationship. But if Alexis was not in a relationship and Amber was, she still was messaging flirty like that with her. So that's what Alexis said herself. Um, and then Amber, she likes attention. So if you give her attention, of course, she's going to feed your ego. Like, that's the whole thing. She loves any attention. She loves, she loves people trolling her. Let's be for real. She enjoyed Erica trolling her. And she likes Brittany talking shit about her. Because she's going like, to talk about her next. But I'm able to, like, admit it. Um. Babe. I just saw you deleted. That's why. Babe. That's so <laughs> hectic. I don't have a cold sore type deal. That was an LOL. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm obsessed. Um. Okay. Oh, the boils. We can talk about boils. Okay. Like, what is this hectic thing? Britney's live was off the wall crazy. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, everything she said was, like, in a riddle. And it's like, she couldn't say anything direct. Britney just seemed high. Let's be real. <laughs> she, like, she really did seem said... out of it. Oh, sorry, my nose. She never once said. And then, after delaying for three hours, of course, if it's just that you're tired, it's because you kept delaying the fucking stream. Amber Lynn sent Erica a video of boils or Amber Lynn sent Erica a video of her squirting. Like it was like, weirdest things. like she never said that because she knows it's all fucking fake. Yeah, exactly. Sorry. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we can't hear what she <laughs> but said, yeah. but yeah, um, exactly. But like some of the things that totally. she would say, would totally be like, Tommy. Yeah. Uh, totally Tommy. You know exactly what to say to make things better. Good job, Tommy. Talking behind her back with strangers on the internet. Uh, have you guys heard of like boils? Like you can get cellulitis from like boils. And it was just like the weirdest thing. And I'm over here just like, can what you? is happening? You guys know I get cellulitis <laughs> and I've always been very upfront with that. I get cellulitis on my lymphedema leg. That is something that I experience. I've never had a boil a day in my life. Lymphedema leg? You have lymphedema legs. Legs. Two. Life. And please tell me why. Or is she trying to make a unileg? A unileg. Hmm. One leg to conquer them all. <sighs> oh, yeah. And the other one. The, um, the toilet, like a handy something toilet helper. Why? If I'm trying to get Erica to, like, find me attractive, find me sexy, you know, I want her to be with me, to love me, and to move in with me, why am I going to be like, yeah, by the way, um, here's some boils, and, like, also, here's me using, like, a, a, a freaking, what is it? Um, what do they call it? Like a toilet... I mean, if it's like Tommy, then maybe she's into having to help you. Her her current partner, uh, Brittany, she's not a little girl. She is a full figured woman. I don't know what it's called, but like to help me like wipe or whatever. I'm like, this can't be real. Like this can't be real. I'm just like, what is happening? Like everything she said was so not true. And this is my theory. This is my theory. So obviously. I was in a relationship with Erica and I did tell her personal things about my past. It's not a relationship if you're the other woman. That's called being a mistress. That's not a relationship other than in your head. Because literally there's nothing in the law that recognizes you except in the negative. It's relationships or just like personal things in general to do with people in my past life. So I'm thinking they probably got shit for bringing other people into this drama because it's sure like same with Alexis, like stop bringing my exes or people I've past talked to, like, in this drama. Like, what are you doing? Like, that is so Ooh. disrespectful. Jordy's live. Why does Amberlyn want my phone number? <laughs> Why does Amberlyn want my phone number? Like, talk shit about me all day. 
leave everyone else out of it. <laughs> so anyways, so I'm thinking what happened was Brittany got a bunch of shit for talking about like people that shouldn't be involved. So they had all this tea that they could spill. They do. But the thing is, she was like, fuck, now I can't. So I have to make up stuff because I'm sorry. Everything that she said in that live stream was not true. Like it was so scary, like how much she was lying. And I'm like, what even? It, yes, a handy helper. Thank you. I'm like, this is crazy. And it's like, she's more mad at me than she is at her own wife. And I'm just like, bro, I wasn't married to you. We did not exchange vows. Like I thought for the longest time you were living in a different house. I thought for the longest time, then you moved in, but you were sleeping in a different bed and you guys were in an open relationship. And like, oh my God, the 2400. So the other lie that she decided to spew out was Amberlynn told Erica to stop paying certain bills. I said, huh? I would never tell someone. Yeah, to stop I know. Paying. Even if she did say to stop paying uh, the bills, Erica decided to. Like, that's on Erica. That means she fucking intended to leave. Your Otherwise, bills. she just is literally the uh, humiliation seeking person that I called her out as. Like, it's literally the most psychotic thing I've ever heard in my life. I was like, what is actually happening right now? So it's like, at least Alexis has some like truth to her shit. She does lie, but there is some truth to it. And it's like, what is happening? Like actually genuinely with Brittany, like I understand like you're hurt or whatever, but like, I'm not the one that hurt you. It was your wife, your actual wife. So I don't know. Well, no, Amber, a, <clears throat> a wife or a husband or a spouse, whatever is allowed to dislike the other woman or other man like you're literally allowed to do that you are you're allowed to hate their fucking guts because even though you're not married to anyone you participated you were the other woman goodbye it's weird um sorry i am behind on like super chat type deal and i'm not gonna mention anything about feline that is not something i'm gonna be doing that is she told me she does not want me talking about her online, about our relationship, about anything that happened between us. And I'm going to respect that. And I'm going to respect her. And the fact that like Alexis is not doing that, it's it's just, it's a lot like genuinely. And it's like, not even, is she not doing that? But like, she's lying on top of like not respecting Feline. And it's just, it's not fair, you know? Um, um, I think people make About which part, like the part that makes Feline look more likable or the part that makes you look like you can't get up off of your back because you fell on the floor because you wanted to hit somebody. Such mm -hmm. a big deal about who you talk to while in your single and mingle era. Like, life ain't that serious. Exactly. Like, yes, I did talk to a few people. I'm not going to lie, but I was single. You know? Can we have merch that says situation type deal? I mean, maybe. My boyfriend's brother, Jaden, just got married to his best friend, Jay. Could you congratulate them on a happy marriage? Oh, my God. Congratulations, Jaden and Jay. And your names just go good, so good together. I love that. Um... That's such a dumb thing. That's such a middle school thing. Oh, your names go so well together. Oh, isn't that so lovely? Because obviously that's the most important part. And anybody who seeks out a partner because of how their name sounds or which letters their name is, like, you're sick. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I just feel like a lot is happening at once. And I do genuinely feel like there's so much that I want to say. But it's like so much that I don't remember most of it. So I should have like written it all down. Um, I don't know. Okay, we're gonna go on to the second one. Mm, this is your third one. Oh, and the other thing. So Alexis first said she didn't give me money, and then finally I said yes, I did. I have proof. So then she's like, oh yeah, oh wait, she gave me money, but it was for Christmas. I'm telling you right now, when I send people money on, there's no way that was her first one before. Um, Venmo. I always have random like emojis on there, so nine times out of ten, the emoji has nothing to do with what it's actually for. And I literally have text message proof of her saying that the money I sent her on December 29th was literally for, um, hold on. I don't want to be wrong and say the wrong thing. Let's pick, hold on. Let me, let me look. Where was it? Type deal. I've been taking so many screenshots lately. Like, I'm like, this is like, this is not real life right now. Which one was it? Like so many screenshots. Oh, wait. Nope. No. Because I don't want to say the wrong yeah. thing and then be called a liar. So that's yeah. not what's going to be happening around here. The way she says no is really coming off like Cartman now. Where is it? This is annoying. I can't find it. Hold on. But I'm pretty sure it was Wi-Fi, gas, internet. And like sometimes people <laughs> need help and that's fine. Like I, when I love you, like I very much 
am that person that like if I can help you I'm going to like genuinely and but just like mm, so she, genuinely if she thinks she can get something out of it later at a certain date she'll ask you for something she's rumple still skin like someone to like lie about that like that's the part where it's just like that's not very fair why can't no I, I believe you amber i believe that you would totally give somebody money expecting them to give something dear to them to you whenever you asked i exactly believe it and i think that you would reference it future uh or i think you would reference it in the future whenever you felt like it if you wanted to guilt them or if you wanted them to do something else for you or if you thought that you didn't get enough out of the first thing you asked for yep i can see that so this is annoying type deal <sighs> did you know that you can search words and phrases you can literally search in your messages amber did i Okay, you guys know how like on the i on the iMessage you can like search a word. I'm gonna do that. Oh my god! <laughs> Literally so slow. Um, I'm gonna search the word Wi-Fi. Okay. Oh, there it was. Found it. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> or not? What the hell? Huh? Yeah, it was Wi-Fi gas. Yes. No, it was Wi-Fi gas phone bill. Okay, found it. I'm gonna screenshot that though, just in case you know. It's just like little lies like that where it's just hectic. It's just hectic to me. Like we don't That is pretty hectic. Don't need we don't need the lies. Like we don't. Um show us. Show us. Show us. And I know Why people you like, like, want to believe the drama because it's more fun. Like it's more fun to be like, yeah, Amberlyn's such a shit person. Everything. Show the proof. Ugh. Alexis has literally threatened me that if I show screenshots, you know what? Fuck it. Hold up. Girl, she's literally saying that you didn't send her money show us you can show us that you sent the money and then that makes her a liar right. that that makes it okay well i can't show that because that shows her actual personal information um okay i'm gonna screenshot this and then i'm gonna all i'm doing is taking out because she sent all's, me like in the text all i'm doing she really does not talk like a californian i'm telling you guys and definitely not like a northern californian i i am a northern californian she does not speak like me. She does not speak anything like me. Message. It literally shows like her personal information, like her last four digits. Literally. Of her, like, account, okay. Now at least my phone and Wi-Fi won't shut off. Thank you. I'm gonna put gas in my car with the rest of it. And I was like, I am so glad. And she said, You are the best. When I get my shit together, I want to come see you. That has nothing to do with it, but hold on. Can you guys even see that? Oh. Yep. Yay. Now at least my phone and wife. That sounds ungrateful. That sounds like she wanted more. It's like, you know, when you get, when you're like a teenager and you get 50 bucks, but you wanted 75 or a hundred because you had something planned for it. That's kind of what it's giving. Uh, now at least my phone and Wi-Fi won't shut off lol. Cause the LOL makes it sarco uh, sar la la, sarcastic or sardonic. And then thank you. I'm going to put gas in my car for the rest with the rest of it. So like, yeah, that's kind of like a little bit of weird. Um, but then it's like, you're the best. And it's like, mm, okay, when I get my shit together, I want to come see you. Okay. Good job, Amber. You provided receipts. There it is, folks. There it is. There it is. There she blows. And then I already did it. I'm pretty sure they can see it. You guys saw that, right? And then just yes, because we I don't saw want people it. to think I'm a, like I'm a creep. Like I get it. Talking to someone who's 25 is pretty hectic. Um, I'm not gonna lie. It was something that I questioned, even talked to my mom about, and I was like, Ugh! but for Alexis to sit there and say, like, girl, I need you need to just have a hard cutoff of an age. Like, honestly, it doesn't matter if somebody's legal. And I'm gonna make this argument to everybody. It does not matter if somebody is legal. It you know that they're developmentally or socially at a different level than you. You know that you're, if you're normally functioning 30 year old, your career is mostly your focus. You're not focused on, oh, what TikTok is happening or, oh, what, uh, I don't know, like what fucking 
trend is necessarily the biggest thing on social media. Like, you have bigger concerns in your 30s. You don't need to be fucking around with 20-year-olds. Or even 25-year-olds. That she was 20 the whole time is a lie. And I'm about to prove that. Um, I oh, and, like, so I said I date only down uh, about seven years. So my cutoff right now is 26. And then up, I go 15 years. I'm gonna, because I have... Abby's picture on here, so I'm not gonna be showing that. So I'm gonna crop that out. That's not fair. So right here, we're talking. Me and Abby were messaging about like being genuine, and I was like, "Have you ever not been genuine with me?" And she was like, "Well, everything except one thing." And I was like, "Tell me." And she was like, "I might not be 25." And then this is the the full conversation. If you guys want to click it, I mean, <clears throat> I would be more concerned if she had actually met this person in real life because then that is really alarming. But like, if you're 20. Like, ugh, develop something better to do. Like, you don't need to talk to old people if you're not, like, just hooking up. And you don't need to fucking try and get in relationships with somebody just because they're older. Like, that doesn't make them a better person or more mature or ready to, like, show you things in relationships. Please don't. Like, I had to go. Like, I was fighting for my life to find these text messages. I had to search the number 25 in my phone but this is like a genuine thing that actually happened and like alexis you can search phrases amber oh was that not just words like the fact that she's really trying to make me look like someone that i'm not is like yes i guess she's of legal age i totally understand that but like still it's, it's giving like you know 20s young like um uh what else I have like a like the receipts that I'm not gonna show are the ones where like Alexis is literally proving that the only reason why she is doing this. Um hold on, babe, don't say anything because my airpod just died. <laughs> hold on a second. Um the ones I can't show is where um Alexis is literally saying that the only reason why she's doing this is for money. And like because those are between hold on. Nod your head if you can hear me. Yes. She can hear you. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is that a gray hair? <laughs> Hold on, or a clump? <laughs> I'm trying to figure this out. Are you muted or no? Oh, okay. You're in my ear. You're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. What was I saying? I don't know. Oh, yeah. The only reason why Alexis is betraying me is for money. And I have messages between her and someone else literally saying those things. And that, like, genuinely Ooh. hurts me. Ooh. Like, through and through. Because it's like, she was my friend for a full year. And, like, the minute that, like, I'm do like we get an argument, you're going to go against me like that? Like, I mean, to be fair, she did have some clips and stuff that was not just stuff that you could pull up easily. It was like stuff she had to have stored. There's just like a difference between like being pissed off and like publicly wanting people to know that you don't support me and Tommy, which is like hectic to begin with, which, oh, I also want to mention, I also want to talk about the, the, uh, the Tommy receipts that Alexis, um, revealed. I also want to talk about those, you but do? it's just like, genuinely, Alexis is just like not a good friend. Like, why would you do that? You know? Mm -hmm. Um, she wanted to embarrass it just you. Genuinely makes me sad and makes me really, really like heartbroken that she would do this. And I do have moments where I have cried. I'm not gonna lie because it's like she's genuinely someone that I did love, like as a friend. And um, I don't know. Anyways, okay. So the Tommy receipts. What happened was this girl needs Tommy real life getting friends. Tons of messages during like the height of all of this like thing where shit like hit the fan and it was just really bad. Like her mental health was really bad. Like I'm telling you, super low. Um. Things were being said about her that were just awful and that no one deserves and things that were not true and it was genuinely hurting her so in the middle of all of that like she got an ambush of a ton of messages oh thank you i appreciate your support um she got a ton of messages like at the same time saying that amberlyn cheated on you with erica amberlyn cheated on you with erica the whole time she was cheating on you and it's like i'm not gonna lie tommy believed it yeah well you were kind of talking to them all at the same time so i mean what are we supposed to think and i get it like i can understand that and so Tommy felt obviously betrayed and hurt. And on top of that, her mental health was already super fucking low. So yeah, that is literally it. Like she genuinely was hurting and she thought that I didn't love her and that I betrayed her. So that is why those like messages happened. They were actually during a time when me and her did break up. Like I know a lot of people are like, you guys didn't break up. We did. It was for a short second. You're the one who said you didn't even break up. That's why we said you didn't break up. It was for a short second. But the breakup did happen. And it was rough because we, both of our mental health was like really fucking bad. Like genuinely it was a scary moment. 
I'm not gonna lie. And we have come out strong and we do love each other and we are very fucking happy together. And you guys will get to experience that. Uh, you guys will get to see that. Gross. <laughs> Maybe. And um, yeah. If we get to see it, that means that Emily is coming. I don't know what to say. Like we went through a hard time and we got through it. And that's like all that matters in my opinion. So, um, oh, that's a good one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, life with Ron. You're so sweet. I'm sorry. I'm not really looking at super chats because I just have like a lot on my mind, I think in this moment. So something else Alexis completely lied about, like genuinely lied about was when, uh, Tommy was here visiting me, Alexis was on, um, FaceTime and I did say like to Tommy, what reaction channels have you watched? Cause I was curious. Obviously that's something I'm curious about. And, um, I wanted to see her YouTube history. Well, Alexis saying, yeah, you psychopath. saying that Tommy's YouTube history was full of reaction channels was a fucking lie because there was none. There was none. There was none. Literally, that was hectic. Um, it's just another example of like Alexis wanting to spin like a certain narrative that I mean, according to Tommy's messages herself, she did not watch any reaction channels. So now I'm inclined to believe <clears throat> I'm inclined to believe Amber and Tommy only because there's the messages and Alexis used those messages. So that's what's telling me that, that Alexis didn't tell the truth in that case. That is not real. Um, there's something you're keeping from us. Oh, I'm sure there is. <laughs> I don't know what in this moment, but I'm sure there is. Um, I can't tell you guys everything. Like be so cool. Um, do your super chats at the end. Is there a way to do that? I mean, I don't mind having like a super chat. What baby? What baby? Oh, baby, 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 baby. Team Amber, thank you. Yeah, you can totally do the history, but like, Tommy wasn't expecting me to just randomly ask right then there. You know? So, I don't know. It was just like, it's just like, it's like if Alexis wants to spill tea, she should stick to things that literally just has to do with me. Nobody else. Why Why do other people have to be involved? And like, why lie? Why lie? To like, make it seem more like enticing? I don't know. Well, she did what you did. Like, you always sprinkle in like half truths or quarter truths, three quarter lies. Uh, and then that's what she's doing, apparently. Yeah. And like the part where Alexis you guys are like, so yeah, similar. Tommy like turned off her phone. Like I said, no, literally, no, that doesn't even make sense. So turning off one's phone, what does that do? Okay. So it's either a Tommy turned off her phone, which creates what? What happens when you turn off your phone? Does it just her fingers it's like automatically delete like YouTube history? I've never heard of that. But then stop, to top it off, stop off, leaning in your hands. I was like, yeah. show full of reaction channels on there. It's like, what? Amber. You're not making sense. Like, genuinely not making sense. And people are seeing through, like, some of her lies. And I'm glad that that's happening. Like, thank you. Because she does go back and forth with a lot of things that she's saying. Um, Yorkie hairdo, stop. Uh, it is a Yorkie hairdo. Um, I did address the handy helper. I did. When will I post the only handy helper I like is a nice hot guy. Was again, I'm not sure. Lol. You're obsessed with Alexis? No, I'm obsessed with clearing my name, actually, I guess. Life with Ron, thank you. You're literally so sweet. Stop. Thank you. Do I know Tommy's phone password? We gave it to each other, but I don't remember it. No. No, I don't. Oh, I forgot to put you back up. Sorry. Sorry, I was ignoring you, baby. Um, baby. Baby, baby. I missed a super chat. Say hi to Will. Hi, Will. Sorry if I missed your super chat. Yes, I'm drinking once a week just for <laughs> live streams. I want to do my just live streams for the live um, stream. Wednesdays, but I feel like sometimes they will be Tuesdays. It's just going to like depend, really. See, that's what I don't understand, like, or what I can't relate to, rather. As a 33-year-old, I could never drink three to five buzz balls on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. If I still drink, I could not do it. Um, I've never been a bad friend to Alexis ever. Mm, like I know I'm not. That's not true. That's not true. If you really do dump her every time you get a new girlfriend, then or even if you're chatting to a new girl, you just dump her. You're a shitty friend. Perfect. But I've never been a bad friend to her. Yeah, Twinkie's just peacefully sleeping. Thank you, Chowder. I appreciate that. Ali, I've been living for your TikToks. Thank you. I definitely have fun over there. Not gonna lie. Hello, Chelsea. 
asking for a birthday shout out for Eli and Caitlin. Happy birthday, Eli and Caitlin. Did you want Alexis to drive you to okay? No. Um, again? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Wifey wasn't going to. And so Alexis was going to. And before anybody says anything else, it was not. Even if wifey said she would take you, even if she said and promised up and down that she would drive you from Kentucky to Oklahoma, it's not her responsibility. It's on you, Amber. You are 33 years old. You were 32 years old when you moved. That's on you to get all of your stuff, all of your pets, where you need to go, when you need to go. It's not on your ex-girlfriend. It's not on your new friend that you've never met in real life. It's not on your mom, even. It's on you. You. Especially since you make so much fucking money, you do not get to complain. You are a waste of space. I don't want to talk about my past relationship, but there was going to be a moment where I did not have any way of getting to Oklahoma. That's your own fault because you're a waste of space. Me and Alexis did want to meet and Alexis did say, I'll help you if you need me to blah, blah, blah. So I was like, yep. In her message, Alexis was like, well, I'll totally drive you. I'll totally drop everything my, in my real life to drive you. The person that I've never met before. I don't even know what you smell like. I'll rent a car and drive with you for like 15 hours. Okay, that is psychopath behavior. That is literal psychopath behavior. Behavior, Like I said before in my other video, that is taking lives level behavior. It is crazy. And the fact that Amber doesn't see a red flag, the fact that... Uh, What's her name? Alexis didn't see a red flag. Says everything to me. Okay. Well, guess what? I need your help. <laughs> so, but I was going to pay for everything. everything. To I was going to pay her to do it. I was going to pay for the rental car. Like she wasn't going to have to pay for anything at all. Um, just her time. I was going to need her time, and obviously I was going to pay for her. Time. Well, I mean, time is money if you work for a living, Amber. That's literally the point. But did I want her to? No, no. Like I did not want that to be the first time I met Alexis. Was us being stuck in a car for thirteen hours? Like no. Um, these people can't stand to see you happy and thriving and sad. I know. Yeah, and I, I am, can't like, stand minus, it. Minus like the whole like losing my best friend and like my best friend actually betraying me. I am genuinely happy. How come you never did meet Alexis? So Alexis wanted to meet hard, like very hard, especially when I first. And before anybody jumps in on that, I believe her. I, I really do believe that Amber, uh, was told that, or that Alexis told Amber that she wanted to meet her in real life because she still wants to meet Mama Lynn. She's jealous that the twink gets to hang out with her in real life. She wants to hang out with Mama Lynn. She wants to know Eric. She wants to know Ricky by association. And then she wants to also reach out to Jade. She is a person who creeps into your life. That is Alexis. And then Amber is the person who just pushes their way into your life and like doesn't leave. Like, that's what she did to Crystal's family. She just moved into their house after profiling them. First moved here. Um, she would constantly bring it up. But I just, I don't know. Like, I didn't feel ready. And I never felt ready to meet her in person. I don't know what it was. Um, had ample opportunity. Like, she was ready. <laughs> like, ready.com, let me tell you. But I just, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. And it's in the same way of like, okay, we both had a crush on each other. But like, why didn't we take it any further? I genuinely never wanted to be in a relationship with her. And I can't tell you why. I, I don't know. Sometimes it's just like because you didn't want to re like you didn't want to be in a relationship. That's all it is. You don't have to want to be in a relationship with somebody just because they are like into women and they look at you like what? What is wrong with you, Amber? Something is deeply wrong. If that's like she didn't even meet you in person and you still fucking felt like that. That is crazy. That is crazy. Like what you feel like what your gut instinct tells you to do, like you don't even understand it sometimes. So, um, yeah. Amber, you're so pretty. Thank you, patience. That's sweet. Aw, patience. Yeah, you're but, like, dumb. I wish it would have known even more. So like, I wouldn't have gotten as close as I did to her. So. Maybe just meet people the regular way, not online. I mean, that's what I people said. People are going to hurt you regardless. Like they will. Except then you can vet them in real life before letting them into your heart. Because you'll get a sense 
a vibe, if you will. Oh. Please come to Wisconsin. Thoughts on Eric's DMs with Alexis. I actually talked to him about that already. He just wanted to understand what was happening from like an outsider perspective. So hmm. Alexis comes off controlling. So Eric is still talking to her for real. So yeah, Eric and Ricky, you shady bitches. I ain't the first one to say it in her life, and I won't be the last. So cute pigtails. Thank you. <laughs> Amber, pigtails. she was never a friend, just a fan. Ugh. I've actually heard so many people say that, and like that genuinely like hurts. Like I could, That's like, why there's the saying, don't fuck fans, don't fuck roadies. Don't fuck fans. Don't fuck groupies. I'm actually gonna cry. Where are like, the tears? Me, like, Where I are the tears? Love her. Like, she felt like family to me. You're not crying. Um, I'm not drunk. And I don't always cry. Stop. You're getting intoxicated and you still can't even cry. That's embarrassing. I'm just sad. Huh? Huh? <sighs> I'm not drunk. I'm fine. How are the kittens? Oh, kitties. <laughs> I was like, I don't have kittens. They're good. I did. Because that was triggering, Kendall. Um, yeah, I literally have only had one buzzball and then like this. That's it. No. No. I don't um, believe it. I don't believe that for a second. I am happy, but like I can feel two things at once. Like I'm happy in general, but like I'm also very Two things can be true listening. at the same time, guys. That's just the freaking truth. You know? Like I'm I don't know. I miss her calling me and us just like sitting there talking and just like laughing and like having a good time together. Like I genuinely do miss that. Yeah, I know. I need to get my, my nails done for sure. Yeah. For sure. Um, when am I dyeing my hair red? Mm, probably never type deal. Even though red is like such a cute Actually I think that a dark red would look good on her but maybe not color. um did alexis reach out to you when you and feline broke up like is that what is that when you guys started being friends yes it was after we broke up it started off as like a romantic interest type deal type situation but then mm -hmm. oh yeah here's another thing she lied about okay so we talked for weeks as like romantic type deals and then um randomly she was like i'm choosing um my ex and i was like okay wait i think i have that screenshot randomly she decided to go back to the person that she'd already been seeing randomly. She was like, I'm, um, I'm going to get back with my ex, like all this stuff. And in Alexis's, um, hold on. I love how Amber like asserts herself as the main girl in the relationship. If it's a, like a love triangle, she assumes that she is the center of the attention and the other person, even if they're pre-existing is like the pretender to the throne. It's so ridiculous. And it, it totally well, explains why she's so disrespectful to other people's relationships in general if she takes that approach and like why she doesn't even view marriages as quote unquote real unless the person is like literally getting dicked down by their wife or husband every night like for real. Amber is sick. And Alexis's Q&A's. <laughs> she was like, Amberlynn like freaked out about that and all that stuff when I when I chose um my ex or whatever. <laughs> no, no, I'm about to show you my response. July 30th, 2023. No, no. Blah blah blah. No. Okay, we have to talk. Blah blah blah. I literally my response was, "This hurt, yes, but I don't hate you. I understand. Good luck, Alexis. I really hope blank treats you how you deserve. It'll always be love from my end, okay? And that's all I said. Do you guys know her ex's name? Like, am I allowed to show you? Oh okay, yes, we know her name, but okay. So this part, Amber is right. She shows us the text message. I have already seen this part. But how much do you want to bet that Amber Lynn called her, that Amber Lynn FaceTimed her and was blowing her up? Because that's what she did with Erica. That's what she's done with Beck. That's what she's done with uh, Destiny. That's what she's probably done with Wifey if she ever was gone for a weekend. Like, literally, we know this is how Amber is, that she has to blow them up regardless of... She won't do it in text, because text makes her look bad every time. She's not a poet. She's not a writer. So she does what she does best in person, and best, uh, second best would be over FaceTime. And then that's what she does. She has to, like, cry and, like, blubber and tell you oh you're ruining my life or you're 
we had a future. I had a future plan for the two of us. Get a screenshot because I don't want to. I don't want to get. I don't want to get in trouble. Uh, that's the part that freaks me out. No, no, I don't think you guys know the one. Then I can't. I really because like Alexis has like put fear inside of me, like hardcore threatening. So just edit it. Oh, <laughs> that's a good idea. Okay, wait, I could take that and then I could do the little smudgy guy, right? Wait, it's like a marker type deal. I'm trying to respect people that aren't involved. Unlike someone, unlike someone I know. Unlike someone I know. Wait, it doesn't even stick enough. What the heck? Hold on, folks. We're going to get through this together. I want to make sure. Her name's on here like a few times in this. Okay. All right, so it was July 30th, 2023. She stopped our like romanticals together because romanticals. she chose to stay with this her This woman is like, 33. Okay. Amberlyn is 33 going on 34 saying romanticals. Romanticals. And I respected it. Romanticals. And the fact that she lied and said that I freaked out on her. <laughs> That's my favorite. Because I was understanding. <laughs> oh, that was loud. Sorry, guys. Uh, I was. <laughs> but that was like, it's literally like she's doing an impression of what cereal is that uh, impression of Amber's laugh? Like, it's crazy. It's like laughception. Like, okay. And she even said, thank you for understanding. And I replied with always. And then it was August 19th, which you'll see again. Always and she forever. Ended up and saying, Blank and I are done done. And I hope you're doing well. Congrats on the eight pound weight loss. Anyways, here it is. Here it is. What the heck? Turn down your brightness. <laughs> like, I'm trying, literally. okay? I'm a rookie. Difficulty, Lynn. Hey, we have to talk. Blank said she was going to talk to the girl tomorrow morning and essentially tell her she can't talk to her anymore for the sake of bettering our relationship. And honestly, I think it's fair that I do the same with you. I'm really sorry to have gotten you involved. I will always care about you and want the best for you. But I really want things to get better between her and I, and that starts with learning to trust each other again. I hope you don't hate me. Heart. This, this hurt, yes, but I don't hate you. I understand. Good luck, Alexis. I really hope Blank treats you like how you deserve. It'll be, always be love my end. Okay. Thank you for understanding. Always. She and I are done done. Only less than a month later. Wow. No, it is not Chrissy. Like three weeks. This is someone else completely. And also, Alexis has why are you texting her in the middle of the night, Alexis? One twelve a.m. Let's look up. Let's look up what day that was, because Alexis is supposedly working. So if she's texting like this in the middle of the night, no wonder she doesn't keep a job. And I'm going to say that I'm going to leave that in there. You I'm not editing this at all. This is just going to be a stream of consciousness live. Uh, premiere for you guys. No editing. Um, July 30th. Okay. Um, that was, okay, that was a Sunday. Sunday at 1 a.m. Really, Alexis? You're not getting ready for work, going to bed early so you can get up and be productive? And then August 19th is, okay, I'll let that one slide. That's Saturday. Even brought up. So I'm just going to respect um, that type of deals. So I just wanted to show you guys that like, it's just another example of Alexis lying. And it's like, yes. no matter how many times Alexis lies, like you guys aren't going to care. You guys just, there's a large portion. No, don't worry, girly. I don't like you and I have enough hate in my heart for her too. Don't worry. No worry. You that just wants to don't, you, don't you worry your pretty engorged heart. Don't you ever worry. Her lies, which is fine. No, it's not Bailey. Especially since alcohol can really worsen heart disease. Alcohol is a main contributor to heart disease, actually. And you've already probably damaged it. So, yeah. If Alexis can consume and, so whatever. And liver disease. Whatever she wants, why can't you? I don't know. Life with Ron, you're literally the sweetest. Thank you so much again. Um. <sighs> and actually, actually... Amber probably does have a fatty liver already, 
and then adding the alcohol on top of that could cause her serious problems. Katie like said, serious. Not perfect. If we accidentally get it wrong, we're sorry. Katie, you're so sweet. Yes, you're, you guys are doing great, like thoroughly. Thank you. Um, can you shout out my cute girlfriend, Megan slash Soda, and her cat, Luna? She's never heard you say Megan. She's so excited. She calls me Stellar. She's Soda. Okay. Um, Megan, wait. <laughs> Maybe the buzzballs have it. <laughs> okay, Megan slash Soda. No, that wait. just didn't make any sense. It was stupid. Wait, didn't I do this last time? Because I was like, Soda? I saw it on my new TikTok. People were like, Ooh, your earrings smart are water. Rat. She's so brat. It doesn't make you smart, Amber, just so you know. What is that? Never heard of it. And also another one is Dem Demure? Demure? De uh, Demure. Demure is not a new concept in the slightest. It literally means like humble, timid, small, but like pretty and like aesthetic. And the fact that it's becoming a TikTok trend apparently is stupid as fuck and it's going to be so toxic. It's basically Igo from Korea. Like this little girl act, which is part of why it's part of where Amber's getting this hairstyle, I bet, um, is somebody decided to start doing the whole pretty little girl demure look, and that's where Amber's copying it from. Because it's it literally is borderline creep content. Honestly. Like, if you know what I go is, you know. What is that word? D-E-M-U-R-E. -E. I've seen that a lot. I'm like, what are these things? What are Demure. It's D E M. U R E, Demure. You can use a dictionary. You can use a thesaurus. I, I don't know what's happening. Um, I don't know. Grammar Lynn is here for real. Not really. Not at all. Oh, Brat is Charlie XCX new album. Okay. Um, I just don't like. I just don't get it. I'm like, I've been loving this color even before, like. Brat happened. No, you love the color because of Billie Eilish. Shut up. Green is my favorite color, and I hate it that she likes green. But my green is a totally different green. I love emerald, like dark, dark emerald green. It's my favorite green. I don't know. I'm lost. And it's my birthstone. Oh my god, look at my mods talking to each other. I'm living. <laughs> okay. Um... Wait, can I answer what? I'm not talking about certain past partners. I'm not. Out of respect not, for them. Trust not me. Not doing it. It'd be easy for I'm me just to not. Like, blah, 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 blah. But I'm not doing that. <laughs> that I'm was not. funny. Y'all calling her this, that, and the third, and don't even know if Alexis is being honest. Her motive seems to be jealous, in my opinion. She wanted Amber. I don't know how anyone could want me, but there were moments where she definitely did. I mean, you wanted each other. Um, wait, hold on a second. Why can't I press? Oh, okay. It was pretty clear from the messages that Alexis was desperate to get in with you. Like, she's still chasing after that intention or that attention and like clout within your circle. Like, it's your attention and the people that like you's attention that she's after. Like, like Sue's. the color difference between her hand and her head oh god look at that is she like greasy i don't understand what is she doing hello was it Coke? <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. She's so annoying. Um, I did. No, I didn't fart. God, y'all are weird. Uh, my nose itches type deal. Am I getting a zit? <gasps> what? From your nose itches because you're drinking. What are you talking about? For somebody who lives, for somebody who loves dr getting drunk. You don't know the feeling of getting drunk very well. California, Amber, you're awesome. Love your content. Thank you so much. And I'm literally so jealous. I miss California type deal. I'm not going to lie. I act 14, probably. It's almost 10. Girly um, pop. 
when you lived in California, you didn't do half of the things that normal Californians do because you didn't have any money. Like, California is expensive, even back when we lived there. Like, it was really expensive back then, but not anything compared to how it is now. Um, okay, Amber, at this point, if you go back and do something other than YouTube, would you? what would you do instead? No. <laughs> I would still do YouTube. I'm not gonna lie, but I think I would just do things differently. Yeah. I know yeah. what people okay, like yeah. I'm at, like my most popular. I know what people likes. Mooka bang. Give that to them. She's gonna mook bang bang you without giving them other parts of me that I wish I wouldn't have. Does that make sense? Hope so. Give us your legs. Um, people think giving you money means you have to tell them your life traumas. Like, girl, mm, no one told they you do. to send your coins. Exactly. To an extent, like, they I'm do. not gonna sit here and like answer. Like, I like. I appreciate every single super chat. Like, but she ignores super chats. And with that, I'm going to call it for the first half. And then we'll work on the second half tomorrow, probably. But we're going to get this uploaded for the live stream or for the live premiere. And then, like I said, it's unedited. If you like this version of me, then I'm not sure I do all the time. Leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And thank you for watching.